I'd now like to demonstrate for you what has been termed a modified Epley maneuver in sideline. What we're going to do is we're going to assume that our patient here is affected with a right-sided posterior canal canalithiasis BPPV. Now this modified Epley maneuver is an excellent maneuver for patients who have decreased mobility and can assume a long sitting or a supine position. So first off, it's her right side. So again, we need to understand the orientation of the right posterior canal. In order to put that in the plane of gravity, we're going to have to rotate her head 45 degrees to the left. And now the right posterior canal sits in this orientation. We're going to hold the patient's head here and go ahead and drape your hands over my forearms, please. What we're going to do next is we're going to lie directly onto your right side. All right. So go ahead and lay down on your right. The patient's going to lay down right there. Keep your eyes on my nose and the head's going to go back into about 20 degrees of extension. Here, this is the sideline test. After the nystagmus has resolved and the patient's complaints of vertigo have resolved, we're going to double that duration and keep them in this position. Next, as the examiner, I'm going to move around the patient. Keep your head in the same position, please. All right. And I'm going to come through here. And so we're going to assume that the symptoms have resolved and the duration has been doubled. What we're now going to ask the patient to do is to roll completely onto their left side. As they're rolling, it's very important that we keep the head in this position. And as they start to get onto their left side, pretty much past a supine position, we're then going to be rolling the head 90 degrees from its current position to where the patient's nose will be staring down towards the plinth. All right, so go ahead and roll on your left side, please. Roll, 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 roll. And we turn the head, and now we're holding the head in this position. What we're anticipating is that the patient will complain of vertigo and will also demonstrate some nystagmus if we can visualize it. We're gonna next move our, patient, our hands here, and we're gonna ask the patient to grab onto our forearms again. In this position, the debris should be evacuated from the canal. Next, what we're gonna do is just ask the patient to kick their legs off the plinth and sit straight up like a windshield wiper. Come on up. And we're gonna hold that position right there and assess for any symptomology. And that's how you can execute a modified sideline test and treatment.